Pharmaceutical companies Moderna, Pfizer, and AstraZeneca have all released promising results from their initial coronavirus vaccine research trials. As vaccines become publicly available, here are some questions you might have about what happens next. Exact mandates on who will receive the vaccination first is up for debate. Determining factors will likely involve your job, age, and current health status. Healthcare workers, first responders, and those with essential jobs will be first in line. Other high priority groups include the elderly and those who have underlying conditions. Young adults and those with little to no health risks are lower on the list. Those vaccinations are likely to start in spring or early summer of 2021. Moderna and Pfizer have reported above 90% efficacy using a two-dose system with an in-between period ranging from three to four weeks. AstraZeneca said their vaccine reaches 90% efficacy when a person receives a half dose first, followed by a full dose one month later. No major safety concerns have been reported in trial testing, but full safety data hasn't been made available yet, and there are some noted side effects. The Pfizer vaccine side effects include pain at the injection site, fatigue, chills, and fever. Moderna also lists pain at the injection site, plus muscle aches and headaches. AstraZeneca has reported no serious side effects and says the vaccine was well tolerated by patients. The federal government has already pre-purchased hundreds of millions of doses of each of the vaccines with taxpayer money and has promised to make them publicly available for free. Yes, you still need to wear a mask and socially distance regardless of when you receive the vaccine. Availability will be limited at first, and immunizing enough of the population to stop the virus from spreading will take time. Health experts don't expect a return to normalcy for many months. 